Hey, -o. me Brian. Today we're going to do a review on score of the day. Yeah, this was a serious one. Ah, some volcano water. No, no. That's what this one is black here. It's good stuff. It's fairly cheap, too. Damn, if I remember right, it's like less than $3. Uh, at a uh, convenience store. But anyway, score of the day. I uh, rolled up on the train platform and then uh, one of the, you know, one of the local SMIs, uh, the guy they call Squeeze. I have no idea why. Uh, his real name is Steve, so Steve, Squeeze. But I, I, I think it's more as a deal with, you know, the Squeeze cheese packs in prison. But anyways, so Squeeze is sitting there, you know, saying, doing what he always does best, you know, he talks to himself. Uh, and I rolled up and I said, hey, Squeeze, what's cracking? Hey, OG. Hey, man. You want to buy some liquor? And I'm like, liquor? What do you got? And he zipped open his backpack. He had three bars. Right? He had this here bottle of Jack Daniels Tennessee apple. He had a bottle of Jack Daniels Tennessee, you know, honey. He had a bottle of Jim Beam, you know, Kentucky sipping whiskey. And I'm like, wow. What, what's the deal there, Squeeze? He goes, man, I'm just hungry, bro. I want to eat. I'll let you have one for five bucks. I'm like, I don't know if I got five bucks. Well, you got five bucks, OG. So you always got five bucks. I'm like, well, okay, well, let's dig around in the old backpack see what we come up with. Sure enough, I came up with five bucks. Score of the day. Now, I never really had none of this stuff. Jack Daniels, you know, original Tennessee apple. Right? I mean, I'm not, you know, I'm, I'm more of a, you know, a higher grade whiskey drinker. But this, this is good, you know, Jack Daniels is good, mid-grade, you know what I'm saying? They've been, they've been around for a while, they make good stuff, you know what I'm saying? It's, you know, it's Tennessee, you know, it's just sipping whiskey, you know what I'm saying? Regular, you know, bourbon. This one is 35% uh, alcohol by volume, 70 proof, right? Right? And normally these things are like 28 bucks. Now you know I'm scored a day, right? So, and we're gonna give it, you know, we're gonna give it a little snork here, right? See what we got. There goes. I got the uh, Desert Diamond beer glass out. Don't have a shot glass. Somehow it got lost. Right, so we're going to measure ourselves. A, got a shot. Got a nice color, caramel. Uh, I don't know if you guys know this or not, but, but the caramel color from, for whiskey actually comes right, from, the, from the barrels, from the wine barrels that they age it in. They age it in you know, the Burgundy wine barrels, right? That, you know, and then they char them, right? You know, the, the, Whiskey makers, they char them, you know, they burn the inside of the barrels when they get them. Right? Because the winemakers, they just, you know, they just age the wine in it, it seeps into the wood, and they char it, and then that's, you know, as it ages, that's what gives it its color. Because, you know, alcohol, you know, whiskey, you know, liquor, alcohol, you know, grain liquor, whatever, right? Normally it's clear, and that's why they call it ever clear, right? And Sam, that's where the color comes from. But anyway, mm, right off the top, it smells like, you know, green up, like a Jolly Rancher. Right. Oh yeah, you can see, you can smell the you can smell the whiskey in there. But right. anyways, let's give it a go. See what we got. Sully Pop seventy six just posted a video on Instagram. Mm, that's pretty smooth. Tastes a lot like a green green apple jelly rancher. But. But as you see, you know, see, that's the mouth, that's the taste. You know, the mouth feel is, you know, like whiskey, alcohol. And then as you swallow it, you, can, you get the burn of the whiskey. It's not bad. Now, as you see, I mean, me personally, I, I like my whiskey straight. You know what I'm saying? Maybe chill a little bit, a couple ice cubes. Right? All right, let's give it a go again, see what happens. That ain't bad. That's pretty dang good. Not bad for five bucks, huh? Good old squeeze. He's always into something, that boy. Right, you know what I'm But anyways, but, uh, I am really, oh, almost blew it. I ain't really, you know, done no researching or nothing on this. But I just know that, you know, can see whiskey, you know, made from corn, you know, saying corn and you know, grain and, you know, marley, barley and, you know, bill. All right, and they just, you know, distill it. 
right? Uh, Jack Daniels has been around for a long time, right? Um, you know, he's one of the one of the first, right, licensed alcohol distillers right, in in America, right? And he got the patent, right? And his stuff's pretty good. You understand? I mean, for a domestic, you know, it's not too bad. But anyways, you understand? Know I just thought, you know, I'd throw that one in there. You know, saying right off the chop this morning, right? Let's see how we're going. Right, you know, it's actually you know like almost noon, so you know, and, and, and don't get no wild ideas. I'm not gonna sit here and drink this whole bottle of whiskey. Done that before, and you know I ended up laying on the floor, and man, that was it. Rest of the day, and the next day was shot. Why? I felt like crap because I was an idiot, and I drank a whole bottle of whiskey. So, right, here we are. You know, just sitting in the empire here, you know, and counting my, you know, my profits, right? Whatever profits you got, right? And I'm uh, thinking about stuff, right? How we're going, you know, saying the, you know, the bills are coming back around, right? Uh, I get paid next Friday right, for first full paycheck back to work, and since, since they started the sex shift, night shift, right? Um, they're paying us nine hours, right? You know, at the going rate, I get twelve bucks an hour, right? So it's like, you know hundred some bucks a day. So I, I should get a fairly just paycheck this time. I should be able to, you know, pay my bills, my phone bill, my storage bill, a couple other little, you know, little bills, right, some account bills, right, and, uh, you know, throw some money in the savings account, right, and then go from there. I've been feeling a lot better lately, as you can see, you know what I'm saying, spider bites are healed up, you know what I'm saying, pit bull bites, you know, down to one, big snarly. Got it right where I'm at, one big, let's see, I gotta stand up here. Yeah, old Blackie got me grooming. Right, I'm just gonna be with me for you know another week or two before it's actually completely gone. I right, one of my ankles is gone. Right, uh, I have you know regained about you know, I think uh, what was it the other day when I was the doctor? I've regained 9.3 pounds. Right. I'm thinking a little bit clearer. I'm, I'm hydrated again. But as you can see, I have, you know, got volcano water. Got, you know, Gatorade. I got regular ice water. Right. Uh, I got two and a half gallons of you know, purified drinking water over there. Right. Um, I got a couple other, you know, refreshment drinks, you know what I'm saying, aside from the Jack. You know I, I got, I got some coffee. Right, but, you know, it's dehydrating, but you know, it's, you know, it's still you know kind of good for you. It's got antioxidants, you know, maybe threes in it, right? And uh, I already ate some food this morning. You know, I got me a few sausage biscuit and, and some, uh, right? But you know, without the sausage, you know, just the cheese thing, right? And uh, hash brown and orange juice over the Mickey D's, right? And uh, ate a banana and an apple. Uh, well, you know, I tried to eat apple. I got you know, like about a third of it. Right, and uh, I've you know been more conscious about it, right? About you know being more hydrated and thinking straight, and you know trying to stay out of this you know, direct sunlight. Uh, all this week is going to be you know in typical August, right? It's going to be you know like over 110. Right? Today the high is supposed to be up to 112, and the sun index of like nine point something. Right? It's going to be hot. Right? I don't have to go into work till three, so you know, saying by you know, and then you know. By sunset, it's around 7:30, right? It's just, it's just wild, you know. It's just, it's, it's like it's at you know seven o'clock, it's 100 and you know whatever degrees, right? By 7:45, right? you know 15 minutes, the sun goes down, it <laughs> drops all the way down to like 100, right? The overnight lows have lately have been somewhere like in the mid 80s, been nice, clear, crisp, right? You know, no, you don't need any covers, you know that stuff. Sleep outside, you know. It's, it's, it's been really nice. You know, lately in the morning time, the morning time is the best time. This time of year, from all probably you know like an hour or so before sunrise until you know like around 9:30, 10 o'clock. That's when it really starts to heat up. Because by that, that's when the pavement and everything you know starts to you know it's it's built up that you know it's heat retention and now it's just radiating the heat that it's built up. Right. So uh, and uh, I think Saturday is supposed to be the high day for the week, and Saturday is supposed to be 115. With the sun index of 11.3 or yeah 11.3 right which is you know pretty that's pretty brutal right there 
uh, I was reading, I was looking at, you know, the local, you know, News 12, my website thing, and I was reading that uh, so far this, this summer, right, there have been 26 deaths, right, from overexposure and heat exhaustion, heat stroke, right, so far in Maricopa County. And um, that's, you know, a little bit below the norm, right, but that's still, you know, 26 too many, right. So, yes, I hear you people, I appreciate it. And I'm thankful and grateful for a lot of you, right, who, who care about me, right, who look out for me, right, and with your advice, you know, with your timely advice, right, and, 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 and you know, being, and, you know, reminding me to be, you know, encouraging me to be mindful, to, to listen to my own words, right. Um, there, there's a lot of reasons why, you know, why I started to do YouTube in the beginning, right, and over the years there's been a lot more reasons why I stuck with it. But, but overall, like the, the main number one reason why I do this is I do this for you guys, right? I mean, you know, I've said this before, I'll say it again for a lot of the new people that, you know, that haven't spent any amount of time, you know, surfing, surfing through my playlist, you know, saying, looking at all 20, you know, 2,600 of my videos, right? Um, the way I see it is, is if that, you know, if I document my trials and my tribulations and, and, and the things that I've gone through every day and, and and the way that I've dealt with it and how I figured out how to, you know, make it right or fix it or, or, or just, you know, learn that lesson to leave it alone, right? It, it, and then post it on YouTube. It gives you an opportunity because, because if you're, you're going to live as long as I, as long as I have. I'm, I still got 20, 25 years to go. You're going to, right? I mean, unless, you know, they get really crazy and they start shooting missiles everywhere, you know what I'm saying? And we just totally obliterate the planet and everybody else. Right, you're going to live to be at least 65, 70 years old, right? And and you're and in that time frame, in that lifetime, you are going to experience some of the trials and tribulations that I've gone through, that people before me have gone through, that people before them have gone through, that people before them have gone through, all the way back, you know what I'm saying, to Dave and Bill, you know, the first two cave dudes, you know what I'm saying, that, you know, that, you know, cracked each other over the head with rocks over, you know, cave chip. So, the way I see it is, if I, you know, if I show you my trials and tribulations and, and the way that I dealt with it, it gives you an insight into how you possibly could deal with your own trials and tribulations. Because, I mean, you know, there's, there's this one thing that I've learned along the way, right, when it comes to skills and, and you know, skill sets, right, is that, is that no matter what the skill is that you learned, right, it's always transferable to another, to something else, right? I mean, you, you pick up a skill and it stays with you for the rest of your life. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm gonna throw out a shout out to my buddy Harry Hale, 30 Cal, right? Him and you know, Marilou, they're a young couple that I met when I was living in Rachel. Harry, you're one badass dude, but hoorah! Harry joined up the United States Marine Corps here not too long ago and he made himself through boot camp. He's at home, he posted a picture on Instagram holding up a beer. Yeah, hey, Harry, you're the man. This is for you, Harry. I'm glad to be your friend. You make me, you make me feel good, Harry. There are still some good people out there in the world that say I'm willing to give of themselves, right, to protect the rest of us. Anyway, this is me, Brian, deep in the empire. Thank you, everybody.